Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Hasbro Marvel Legends. This, I would say better late than never. That's a good thing, always. But from the roughly two, two and a half years ago movie, which was called Venom, Let There Be Carnage, why we have Venom. <laughs> No, that's obviously from the movie. It's just kind of oddly placed, of course. But on the side of the box, we have Marvel's Carnage. Good old Cletus Cassidy. Now, on the side of the box, you get a little still from the movie. Carnage looking good. On the back side of the box, Venom versus Carnage. And they are just tonguing each other. Yes, this version of Carnage has a giant tongue, just like Venom. Here's the barcode. Mine came in from Entertainment Earth, which, if you let me do my little spiel here, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. You can pick yourself up a Marvel's Carnage if you like what you see in this video, or you can head over there for any item, doesn't matter which item, as long as it is in stock, you will get 10% off your order. You might get free shipping over a certain amount, 79 usually does it. However, they're having a July 4th sale, so you might even save some more cash. I would just say head over there, check them out, highly recommend them, I use them myself, guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, Grab yourself a nice hot cup of carnage. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from the two-year-old movie Venom. Let there be carnage, Marvel's carnage. So now out of that box so carnage, here's carnage and all his carnage out of the packaging. And you do get quite a bit, and it's a rather large action figure, as he should be, because in the movie, Carnage was a lot bigger than most. But you do get this extra hand. It's kind of incorporating his bladed hand, Carnage's signature bladed weapon that he likes to use for the movie. You'll notice the black shading does not go to the front and the back. It's just only on one side, which is a bummer. So I would say, Marvel Legends, keep the paint coming because it's largely an all red figure with just a little smattering of black. This big old chicken wing bladed weapon right here, has the black on both sides. So for a character like Carnage, which is basically red sinew and it's supposed to look like blood and guts and all that, you got to have that black viscera in there. And it just keeps it cool. It's a little flimsy too. Just going to point that out. Now, you do get these beef jerky looking pieces right here, which have barbs on the end. They are bendy wire. They're a pretty decent bendy wire. They're not gonna be like the best bendy wire you've ever seen, but they get the job done, and that's what I wanna see from a character like Carnage from the movie Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I like the barbs, I like the sculpts of them, but as you see, just like the weapons we just talked about, there's no black shading on it to really kinda coincide and make it blend seamlessly. They just kinda look like these giant red beef jerky sticks coming out of the back of Carnage. It is nice to see that, yes, this one has barbs, and then this one is a twofer, so instead of just one bendy wire, you get two bendy wires. This one's more of a, a scythe-looking carnage blade, and this one kind of more of an outstretch. It's gonna do some damage. Maybe he's forming it into something as we speak. And yes, one bendy wire, two bendy wire, doesn't make a difference. They all bendy wire the same. They're pretty decent. And overall, I'm more so just appreciative that there are bendy wires in there because it would have been even more awkward to make this guy stand. Just like with this one right here, it's basically the same, pretty much the same bladed weapon, but then you have this outstretched and it's, Kind of sort of different. This one being a little bit more, well, it's opening up and this one's still kind of forming. And as I keep saying, it's really funny because they look like big old beef jerky Slim Jims kind of dealio. Well, of course, minus that paint. But as a good segue, I would say, as uh, someone who's got a hankering for beef jerky, why Mythical Meats, they got some cool products going for their humanoid exotic game snack sticks right there. And yes, they are MSG free. You can check them out on mythicalmeats.com. They sent over a package of their mythical meats. And yes, you can eat a Bigfoot, centaur, elf, gremlin, leprechaun, mermaid, minotaur, troll, werewolf, or a Yeti, I swear to God, you can have all of these right on your plate, and you can see all the nutritional facts for each of these mythical monsters, but we go ahead, we open it up, and you see they're each individually wrapped, and they're nicely done. It's like the typical sort of beef jerky stick, but 
They're all natural. They got gluten-free going on. And my two choices, if I had to pick just two, Minotaur and Leprechaun were my definite favorites. <laughs> I just loved the taste of these things. And what's funny is that, yes, you're not actually eating said mythical creatures. It's a mixture of various meats, but expertly done. I'm telling you. These aren't going to be more on the higher end price point of beef jerky. So maybe as a fun gift, maybe you just want to try them with your friends, your family, something like that. But in all honesty, they were quite delicious. And again, Minotaur, Leprechaun, those are my favorites. So head over to mythicalmeats.com. If you ever get a hankering for some interesting beef jerky, grab some humanoid beef jerky exotic game snack sticks. You won't be disappointed. And when you head over there, tell them Toy Shiz sent you. And if you do try them, let me know what you thought. But back to the whole Carnage game. We have an extra head portrait, like I said, with the tongue. And in the movie, while it was, it was great to have Carnage, can't say it was a great movie by any means, I thought it was so dumb that they gave Carnage a tongue. That's a Venom's thing. Carnage, he's the shapeshifter kind of thing. You know, he crafts his hands. He's got all the poisonous barbs, which, yes, they nailed. While this head portrait does achieve all that, some of the paint gets kind of choppy in the face when the eyes kind of squint towards the front, towards the nose of Carnage's nose. The teeth are nice. The paint is fairly okay. But it's just in that little area when he kind of starts squinting right there with the white to the black gets a little messy but i like the sides of the mouth the sinew everything's tearing looks cool and you have carnage himself as much as i want to complain about the tongue thing i would say the size of carnage kind of made me go wait what you know like, uh, like what? do you have to do this carnage is typically the small little guy he's the offspring the son of venom this works though in terms of making some sort of villain for venom to handle i understand why they probably went this route i like all the little symbiote pieces all over him he does have the black paint on the back but it's very sparse so again marvel legends paint these things up you got the three holes on the back so if you don't have the pieces in there yes you will see the holes but it's on the back so it's not that big a deal the sculpt the look the overall carnage aspect of it is all there so for that alone sure he's a good looking figure i do like this figure but i feel like i've already seen it with my prior release sh figure arts which I will show you that in a comparison coming up very shortly in this video. In terms of swip swapping the heads, that's easy peasy. And yes, while I do think that the tongue is dumb, it does give it a little bit more ferocity, brings this figure a little bit more to life. So I do like it in that sense. The arms right here at the shoulders, I like these little symbiote pieces. They go right to the base where the arm stops. I just like that. It just looks kind of cool. You've got some bicep. You've got some elbows, which are, of course, double jointed. So no worries there. You want to get him in all those symbiote positions. You can definitely do that. One heck of an upper diaphragm, ab crunch. He's pretty well articulated for a giant carnage figure. And yes, this figure is definitely meeting all the requirements for the movie version of Carnage. You got double jointed knees, the feet, which something to point out. You get plenty of rotation, plenty of momentum out of him. He's a little difficult to stand though, I will say. And kind of sort of looks like the feet are on backwards. I pop them off. It's actually quite easy. They are on correctly. They have a little L and an R, but I swapped them and they kind of look better, and I would say he kind of stands better now that I have done that. So, yes, I would suppose they are correct, but in just kind of swip swapping them, it worked out a whole heck of a lot better. And yes, while he does look good at the front, the back leaves you wanting a little bit more, even though you can pop in those beef jerky tentacles very easy peasy. Also, be sure to check out Mythical Meats. But they go in just like that. Now, as one would imagine, they're a little bit heavier. It also makes them incredibly back heavy. So that's where the bendy wire definitely helps because you can get them bending forward, bending off to the side, one up, one down, kind of put the middle one, the singular one in the very middle of his back and use that as a support to keep him aloft. Because yes, 
the hand swapping out will make him front heavy. And you got the tentacles, make him back heavy. So it's kind of a counterbalance. You'll figure it out. Eventually, he will balance out. But the tentacles, especially that one, the barb, kind of pointed down the ground. You should have no problems getting him to stand. When you want to see this carnage up against the movie Venom, yes, that's a great representation of the two. I do like the Venom movies because of how it's so dumb, it's fun. That's kind of thing. They're better than most MCU movies, especially nowadays after Endgame. But no, it's not taking home any Oscars anytime soon. It's a turn your brain off and let's see some aliens fight each other. In terms of the movie Venom that was turned into the comic book Venom, it's going to be the same exact figure, but you can kind of see that. Yes, if you wanted to use this carnage... As a comic book figure, I wouldn't say it it goes. It's just, again, another Carnage. Of all the various Carnage figures over the years, the Carnage is in my collection. He is a tall Carnage. So it throws me off a little bit, but again, it fits the movie. In terms of just regular old comic book Carnage, like Spider-Man the Animated Series or Spider-Man, that's where I would say if you're going to use this for a comic book display, its tastes may vary at the very most because it doesn't really fit the notion of Carnage. It's like a different character at this point. To see all these various Let There Be Carnage Carnages from the Diamond Select that was more of a tie-in re-release reissue with extra parts, that one I still like. And I especially like the really long neck and... That one is just like a fun carnage with all the extra pieces and whatnot. Is it a movie carnage per se? It sort of fits, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best representation. The Bandai SH Figure Arts Let There Be Carnage Carnage is well done. It really does look like this Marvel Legends one, but the Marvel Legends one is going to definitely be cheaper. So if you had to pick between the two... I would, and you're fine with Marvel Legends, go with the Marvel Legends one. You're going to get really the same exact figure. You'll get better, I guess, articulation with the SH figure arts, even though it kind of looks more mechanical than the Marvel Legends. So there's a lot of pluses and minuses between the two, but more so, the Diamond Select is very comic booky of the movie, and the other two are just kind of, yeah, they're basically the same. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from the two and a half, almost three year old movie Venom Let There Be Carnage. Carnage. And like I said, it's not a bad looking figure. It's very representational of what you see in the movie. So in that sense, they've done a great job. I do wish, though, that they had seen what Bandai did and kind of differentiated it a little bit more. Maybe change up the the accessories the tendrils a little bit yeah they're different maybe a cletus cassidy head even though i don't think woody harrelson signed off on the whole using his looks kind of thing but regardless if you want a movie carnage at a cheaper price than the other stuff that's already out there by all means grab one for yourself and grab it from entertainment earth links down in the description below so you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything carnage and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Venom 3 is coming out, baby. Will we see the symbiote horse? Oh, man. I just <laughs> can't wait for that. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. So dumb. <laughs>